G'day Spartys. So I've had a few messages, well I've had a lot of messages actually, <laughs> in the last couple of days. Uh, of, there's apparently doc, Dr. Michael Clapper, who is actually a good friend, of, well, good friend. He's a friend of mine. I shouldn't say he's a good friend. Well, I like him. I hope he likes me. <laughs> We've met a few times and, and he took me on a tour of True North. We sat in his office, had a, had a great chat. Uh, when he visited Australia, we've met a couple of times. Uh, we did a tour together of, of a great uh, animal sanctuary called Ed, Edgar's Mission. And I've heard him talk a few times. We, you know, I've, I've driven him around in my car. <laughs> um, he's a good guy. Uh, I'm a big fan. You'll never meet a nicer guy than Dr. Clapper. Um, and, and yeah, I consider him a friend. So uh, yeah, uh, I've had some angry messages from people saying that Dr. Clapper has made a video saying potatoes are unhealthy. Uh, I've had lots of comments and lots of messages about this and, and lots of people want me to respond. Now I haven't seen the video yet. I wanted to do a, a live response so you can watch the video with me and see my responses as they come up. Um, yeah, let's let's see what happens. I re like I said, I respect Dr. Clapper uh, and I think he's a great guy and he's certainly got the runs on the board as far as uh, helping people get healthy and, and he's a very knowledgeable and well-read guy so um, yeah I'm not sure what to expect from this because uh, I wouldn't have expected that he would say uh, that potatoes are bad for us so um, let's watch and see what happens all right Dr. Clapper what do you think of potatoes all right today our viewer has asked are regular potatoes bad for you Oh my, regular potatoes. Uh, I'm assuming uh, the question asker is inquiring about those wonderful russets uh, that um, uh, Luther Burbank uh, came up with, the uh, Burbank russet potato, uh, that we all, we order baked potato at the restaurants, what we expect to be brought, and we open it up, and there's all this nice white flesh, uh, if you will. Uh, in there and just begging for in the old days before I became vegan, a big plop of butter and some salt and pepper goes in there. Mm -mm. Yeah, so that's first of all, it seems like we agree that they're delicious. <laughs> the potatoes are great. Um, and it also, uh, in Dr. Clapper mentioned putting a, a big uh, dollop of butter in your potatoes. And uh, uh, yeah, I think we can probably all agree that, well, most of us anyway, can agree that the butter is, is one of the things that makes potatoes unhealthy uh you know potatoes have a bad rap and part of that is because people generally tend to eat them with butter uh, amongst other things so let's keep going what's what happens next uh, and that's such a one of those primordial comfort foods you know who doesn't love that and we all certainly learn to do that uh, certainly a comfort food yeah one of the great things about potatoes you feel great when you eat potatoes because because they're such a great comfort food uh, however, in recent years, uh, the nutritional police, they don't you know that, that has a high glycemic index when you eat white potatoes, all that starch leach of sugar, and your blood sugar spikes, and, and your insulin levels have to go chase it, and you have high insulin levels, and high insulin levels lead to inflammation, and, and fat storage, and all oh, terrible, terrible foods. So, somehow white potatoes got put on to the no-no list and i think that's really what's generating this yeah so we agree on that you know there's there's uh the nutrition police as, as dr klepper said there i agree you know they've they've demonized potatoes for a long time and and yeah the people have said all those things that dr klepper just said about about white potatoes have been said ad nauseum by lots of different people and as i mentioned before you know most of what's to blame for potatoes uh, causing all these problems that they supposedly cause is, is really it's not the potatoes, it's the junk that you serve with them, like the butter, you know, sour cream, cheese, bacon bits, deep frying them in oil, that sort of thing. So, um, so yeah, the, the, the nutrition police are, are wrong about that um, because they don't take into account uh, the way people tend to eat potatoes. Um, so, so far, we agree. Uh, Dr. Clapper and I agree. Let's see what happens next. So, person's question. So, I have white potatoes been banished from the healthy eating world forever and ever. No, I don't think so. And once you... There go. We, Dr. Clapper doesn't think they should be banished. So, great. Uh, so far, I'm not seeing what the fuss is about. I, I'm sure something's coming here, but 
you know, people have been angry about this video when they've written to me. Uh, so far, I agree with everything. Uh, I assume there's something bigger coming. Twice a month, uh, uh, my wife will uh, uh, throw some. We're, now we're, we're cooking our potatoes in the Instant Pot. And I say that with four minutes or 10 minutes in at an Instant Pot, and they come out just wonderful. Uh, I've just recently got an Instant Pot too, as a sidetrack. <laughs> we love it. Um, yeah, I've had a pressure cooker for a long time, but we just recently got the actual Instant Pot and yeah, it's great. So get one of those if you if you need a new pressure cooker, guys. Uh, I agree. Uh, so what is the nutritional reality of white potatoes? Uh, first of all, yes, they are starchy and they can raise your blood sugar. That's true. And if you are trying to lose weight, if you are obese, or if you are struggling to control your type 2 diabetes, you shouldn't be eating lots of white potatoes. Probably shouldn't be eating any at all. Okay. Yeah, I disagree with this. Um, yeah, so the blood sugar thing, uh, there's a you know there's a bit a lot of people have a big focus on the glycemic index, and that's about how how any given food raises blood sugar, um, and and yeah, for a long time that was uh, you know an important thing. It was thought to be an important thing. Uh, from my understanding, and Dr. Clapper is probably far more educated than me on nutrition. He's been doing it for a long time, so I'm not going to uh, say that Dr. Clapper is wrong. Um, I do trust and respect Dr. Clapper, but my understanding of this is that there's more recent research that suggests that glycemic index is not as important as we once thought it was, and that um, that rather than being so worried about the blood sugar spikes themselves, what's more important is how quickly we can get the blood sugar back under control and bring the bring that spike back down. So a spike that goes up and then stays elevated for a long time before coming down, that's a, you know, we don't want that. But if, if you have a spike that goes up and then comes back down and you know, it, you get it, you get it back down to normal levels relatively quickly, um, that is, is fine. That's my understanding of, of more recent research. Um, as far as, you know, saying if, if you're obese or overweight or trying to lose weight, then you shouldn't eat potatoes. Uh, well, obviously, I disagree with that. You know, <laughs> I was obese and I, and I lost a hell of a lot of weight eating only potatoes. And, and I have helped a lot of people do the same thing uh, over a number of years now. You know, thousands of people have, have lost weight eating potatoes. Um, and that's not just only potatoes. I've helped a lot of people, um, you know, not lose weight by eating potatoes and other whole unprocessed plant foods as well um you know potatoes with every meal plus veggies and fruits and you know grains and beans and those sorts of things um so yeah yeah i i, I think i disagree on this point um so far but let's see what happens maybe he's going to qualify it somehow uh, that's not to say that the potato family doesn't have things to offer us uh, the white potato has a cousin that are far more colorful, as you're aware, <clears throat> those lovely orange sweet potatoes. And the, uh, and the purple potatoes they have all these wonderful pigments full of anthocyanins and antioxidants, and they're wonderful. If you're going to be uh, eating starchy vegetables, I urge you to culture your appetite, your taste for sweet potatoes. I, when I was growing up, I never did like sweet potatoes. I've learned to really like them. And Okay, so seems like he, Dr. Clapper is now saying uh, sweet potatoes uh, are better than white potatoes. Um, and that's, you know, that's a reasonable opinion to have. I tend to think that potatoes and uh, white potatoes and sweet potatoes are equal. Um, I think they're both great. Uh, I think, you know, they, they have the differences. For example, sweet, uh, white potatoes have that higher glycemic index. That's one thing. But, and white potatoes are better for some vitamins and minerals and, and, uh, and sweet potatoes are better for others. And, you know, it all balances out in the wash, though. I think they're pretty, pretty equal. I, I, I put them on a level playing field, white potatoes and sweet potatoes. I do love sweet potatoes. Um, you know, maybe it's that glycemic index that we talked about earlier that, that tips the scales in, in, in the favour of sweet potatoes for Dr. Clapper. Um, so let's keep going. For every one meal we have with a white potato, we have four or five meals with, with sweet potatoes. So do make it a point. Try, try and cultivate your taste. 
for the you know the lovely orange sweet potatoes and those purple potatoes are just wonderful as well that said is there no place no time to consume white potatoes well sure there is because one it's not to say that they are devoid of nutritional value they got vitamin c they got potassium they have thiamine and riboflavin They're not huge amounts of them but they are not devoid of nutritional value uh, and and especially if you're if you don't serve them with a fatty topping uh, then they're not going to be prone to put weight on you yeah, that's a key point, really key point. If you don't serve your white potatoes or sweet potatoes, sweet potatoes will do exactly the same thing. If you load your sweet potato up with sour cream and cheese and bacon bits, it's going to make you just as fat as a normal white potato will um, if you load them up with the same stuff. You know, deep fried sweet potato chips uh, are just as bad as as uh, deep fried normal potato chips. So, um, yeah, that's a key point. Don't load them, don't load them up with fat. Um, and, and what I'm getting from this video so far is, is I got some angry people writing to me about this video and, and I'm not angry. I, I see it as Dr. Clapper thinking that white potatoes are good and they're healthy, but he thinks sweet potatoes are better. And, and he thinks that, you know, if, if you can, if you've got the option of white potato or sweet potato, he thinks choose sweet potato. Um, I think choose whichever one you feel like eating more. Um, but Dr. Clapper thinks choose choose the sweet potato if you've got the option. Um, so that's uh, to me that's not like a hugely controversial position to have. Um, yeah, like I said, I, I disagree about things like the glycemic index and uh, and like you know his point about if you're trying to lose weight then don't eat them. Um, but yeah, uh, that, so that's a we disagree on that. But uh, overall, I think is this is a pretty reasonable video. And so rather than pouring oil on them or, yes, or don't put oil. vegan margarine, or margarine. Uh, when we do have white potatoes, as I said, once a month, uh, we'll take some nice, I like nice mild uh, Mexican salsa and put it, open it up and, and put salsa on it. And, uh, or a little bit of uh, maybe a spray of Bragg's liquid aminos on there. Uh, and uh, and uh, I don't have problems with blood sugar levels and, and I really enjoy them. Yeah, so that's that's a good point too. I'm glad uh, Dr. Clapper says that he has um, salsa on on his potatoes. That's a good topping, especially if it's oil free. Um, you know the liquid aminos. That's I'm not into liquid aminos. I don't like them, but you know if you like them, that's a good topping too. Um, yeah, once a month though, I feel like you're depriving yourself, Dr. Clapper. <laughs> I feel like you know they're they're good for you. You don't you clearly you don't. Um, you know, you're not suffering for with with any sort of problem, and you mentioned that you don't have problem with your blood sugar. So, I don't know, whatever. What does it matter what I think? You know, Dr. Clapper knows what he's talking about, and um, and he's clearly doing the right things for his own health. So that's great. Um, but yeah, I, I just don't think there's any need to limit the amount of, of potatoes you have. Um, but yeah, again, I you know he. Dr. Clapper probably eats a, a wide variety of foods and, you know, he's having rice and beans and all sorts of fruits and vegetables and, and lots of other dishes. And, you know, maybe his wife just prefers cooking uh, other other foods and, you know, maybe I, I don't know enough about Dr. Clapper's private life to, to assume what's going on here. But, but uh, yeah, that's I think it's all reasonable. And, and to me, it seems like, again, that his position is, if you can choose between white potatoes or sweet potatoes, he thinks choose sweet potatoes. And I think, you know, either or, it doesn't matter. So um, so if you eat them sparingly and top them with a little bit of salsa and no more than once or twice a month, I think you can still enjoy a yeah. nice white baked potato. But I think you will certainly do yourself a nutritional favor by developing a, a taste for those lovely, delicious sweet potatoes. And uh, those should uh, show up on your plate far more often than the white ones do. But uh, enjoy the occasional white potato as well. Okay, well, definitely. Yeah, I think that's a, a little bit, uh, I'm surprised actually, because Dr. Clapper has worked with Dr. McDougall uh, and they are good friends. And, uh, you know, obviously we know that Dr. McDougall is a huge uh, fan of, of normal white potatoes and he's also a fan of sweet potatoes. So, um, yeah, I'm a little bit surprised that, that Dr. Clapper um, has these views. But, uh, you know, I think it's, 
obviously I disagree. I think trying to limit white potatoes to once or twice a, twice a month doesn't make sense to me. Um, but yeah, I, I, my, yeah, if, if you think that, um, if you think that the glycemic index is a really important thing, which I don't, um, then, you know, maybe that makes sense if, if you're coming from that school of thought, um, then, yeah, glycemic index, I shouldn't say it's not important. Glycemic index is important, but only if you're eating fatty foods, which make your, um, which make your blood sugars stay elevated for a long time. If you've got a really, um, you know, if you've got a really simple diet and you're not eating processed foods, you're not eating oils and, and it's low fat, high carbohydrate, unprocessed foods, then you should have really good insulin. Um, uh, sorry. Yeah. You should have really good blood sugar control and you should be able to reduce those spikes pretty quickly and, and keep things under control pretty well. So, um, yeah, that's probably the major difference that we're talking about there, I think. But, um, yeah, either way, sweet, sweet potatoes are great. If you follow Dr. Clapper's advice and eat heaps of sweet potatoes, you, you're going to do really well. So, <laughs> you know, that's, that's good. Um, but yeah, eat, eat your white potatoes too, I say. Definitely the occasional one. And I don't think it'd be hard to develop a, a taste for the sweet potatoes because especially if someone has a sweet tooth, that could be dessert in my oh, opinion. Oh, they're wonderful. Yep, oh, they're agreed. so versatile. You can, uh, uh, let's see, you can slice them uh, or cook them up in chunks. And they're, they're almost like candy uh, 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 as you eat them. But uh, I've got friends who uh, actually take a raw sweet potatoes and grate them very finely or, or spiralize them. Uh, and they're really, uh, you know, you wouldn't eat crunch into a raw sweet potato. But if you really uh, grate them or spiralize them, actually they've got a nice place in the salad as well. So find ways to get those uh, yellow and, and orange vegetables in. I haven't tried raw sweet potatoes, so that's something I should try. Sounds interesting. I'll give it a try. I agree about the dessert. I, I love having a, a purple sweet potato for dessert, just straight out of the fridge and just eat it. If you bake it first, keep them in the fridge. I've always got raw purple, uh, not raw, cooked, sorry, baked purple sweet potatoes in the fridge and just having one of those for dessert is, is just great. Um, but, yeah, these raw, raw sweet potatoes, the orange ones I assume he's talking about, sounds interesting. I have to give it a go. In any way you can, and sweet potatoes are just wonderful. So uh, they definitely are all stars in our diet. Hi everyone, Dr. My all right, there we go. Uh, I'll, I'll go back to full screen now. There we go. What did you think? Uh, I didn't. That video wasn't uh, as bad as uh, some of the messages that people have sent me would made me think it would be. Uh, it wasn't bad at all, actually. It was. Um, it was overall, it was a pretty reasonable sort of position for Dr. Clapper to take. Obviously, I disagree with it, as explained. Um, yeah, you don't need me to go over it again. I did it in the video. So uh, there you go. You, you guys let me know what you think. Uh, is Dr. Clapper right? Am I right? Is the truth somewhere in between? Um, tell me your thoughts and ideas and opinions on the issue. Um, most of all, though, let's not attack each other. I actually had a, have just had a look through the comments in under Dr. Clapper's video, and there are, there are a lot of people attacking Dr. Clapper and being pretty angry about things. So, um, you know, just take it easy, people. It's no big deal. It's just food. If you like potatoes, eat them. If you if you think they're unhealthy, don't eat them. Whatever, it doesn't matter. <laughs> you know, Dr. Clapper's a good guy. And he means well and he's helped a lot of people and and he will continue to help a lot of people and i will continue to be subscribed to his newsletter which you should too <laughs> yeah um there you go friends are allowed to disagree <laughs> and clearly we disagree on this and that's okay um yeah let us know what you think and uh, and like comment subscribe share all that good stuff and uh and Dr. Clapper, if you're watching, uh, I, I, I still love you. <laughs> and um, yeah, keep doing what you're doing. All right, spot up, everyone.